Okay, so here we have a question and it's definitely not going to be proportionality because if it was, there would be parallel lines. So we're going to have to solve this one using similarity because proportionality and similarity are the two main sections for grade 12 Euclidean geometry. Now, how are we going to get AB squared? Well, the way that works is, let's say I, I found two triangles were similar. Well, then I would usually write out their ratios, something like this. Okay, I'm just making up letters. If I then had to choose these two and I did cross multiplication, well, there I would end up with AB to the power of 2. So the only way to end up with a square like that is to choose two triangles, but each triangle should have AB in it. So we could choose this triangle because it has AB in it, or we could choose this triangle because it also has AB in it. So that becomes the whole goal of this question is to prove that, so we're going to say in triangle, so that this one that we can currently see is ABC, and the other triangle was, was this one over here, so ADB. The order that I write this does not matter. It's only once I give the final answer. You know the part where you say, therefore, triangle, da da da, is similar to triangle, da da da. That order matters but this order doesn't matter you're just trying to tell the teacher which triangles you're gonna work in so let's get started so to find the first angle well that's easy it's this angle over here because that angle was a part of both of the triangles so we can just say common then both of our triangles have a 90 degree because this angle here is 90 degrees so we could say that that is the same as this one over here so in the smaller triangle, we could say angle A, D, B is the same as A, B, C, because A, B, C is this whole triangle over here. Tri not triangle, A, B, C, with a little copy over there. And the reason for that is that it's just given. Okay, so we've got two things already. Then the third one is automatically equal because of some of angles in a triangle. So in the small triangle, we've used this one, we've used this one, but we haven't used that one. So we'll just say A, B, D is going to be the same as... So in the bigger triangle, we've used this one and we've used this one, but we haven't used that one. So that's just going to be called angle C. And the reason for that is sum of angles in triangle. So we've got the three tr angles that we need and so we can say therefore triangle ABC. See so I just what I did is I've just chosen ABC. Now I need to make sure that the order of the next one is perfect. So in the big triangle we're starting with A. Okay so that means so what matches A what matches angle A in the small triangle? Well it's also this little angle A. Okay so that's going to be triangle A. Now angle B in the big triangle is this one over here, which is the 90. So what is the 90 in our small triangle? Well, that's D. Okay, and then the only other side that we have left in our small triangle is B. Okay, and so that order is extremely important. By coincidence, we wrote it as the same as that, but that's just a coincidence. And the reason that those are the same is just angle, angle, angle. Then get into a good habit of writing out your ratio. So AB over AD, see so I chose those two and those two, is equal to BC over DB and that's going to be the same as AC over AB. Now I know that in my final answer I need AB so I'm going to circle all the ABs that I can see and I also want AD and AC. So there we have it, we cross multiply with those and that's going to give you AB squared equals to AD times by AC and we are done. Oh, just remember whenever you write out this part over here, then you have to give a reason for that and that's because of corresponding sides in proportion. So you just say in prop like that. That's totally different to the proportionality theorem. They just share the same word.